This is a good topic right here. How do you deal with selfish players? Players that only worry about what they do and are upset if a kid hits better or pitches better than them that weekend. Then they try to hide it. Um, sometimes I feel like we are competing against each other instead of the other team. That's good. We, there's a lot of teams like that, right? There's teams have those kind of players. Uh, there's those kind of teams. Um, you know, one of the things that we like to do is try to create an environment that does team stuff opposed to who did better. And what I'm talking about is we have a quality at bat chart. So when hitters get, go up, we have all the different quality at bats. And every time a hitter has a quality at bat, we keep adding them up. And we say, listen, as a team, if we can get 58 quality at bats, we're most likely going to win the game. Okay. If we die for X amount of balls, if we do this, if we do that. So it's almost like you're talking about all the things that the team can do, not just one person. Well, Johnny got three hits and Mikey got zero. Well, maybe Mikey do for two balls, struck out two guys and, you know, scored the game winning run. Well, that's a great day. You know, so there's more to the game than just how many strikeouts that I have or how many hits that I have. How did I help the team improve? But that starts with us as a coach to build that culture into the team because you know what's probably happening? Those same kids, when they get home, all their parents can talk about is how many hits did you get? How many this did you get? So it starts at home. And us as coaches, sometimes that's what we're battling against. We're battling against the kid that all his mom and dad care about is how many hits he got. So he doesn't know any better than to – kind of do the same thing. I have to be the best on the team. I have to get the most hits. I have to. So we as a coach um, and a coaching staff have to create that environment to where, hey, let's try to get our 51 quality at bats. Let's try to dive for X amount of balls. Let's see how we can do this. And that as a team, we do it in practice all the time. You know, instead of saying, okay, who wins by throwing the most strikes? Well, how fast can we get to 58 strikes? And we have all the kids lining up and we're thrown into a target or so it's almost like more team oriented stuff. Don't get me wrong. We do a ton of stuff that's competing against themselves and competing against one another as well, because competition is great, but we also do things that's team oriented as well. So that we are building the culture of we win as a team, we lose as a team. Um, so I hope that helps. Yeah. And it's that, that we over me mentality. It's, it's teaching your players that sometimes you're not going to have the best day at the plate, but you can contribute in other ways. And uh, one last piece I have for that is coaches take notes. And, and I say it you know, a lot during, during games, take notes to prepare your next practice, but also take notes to touch on things that sometimes get overlooked during the game. You know, we won a, a big tournament two weeks ago and uh, our leadoff hitter ended up hitting a three run homer and extra innings to win it. And one of the things I, I made a note of and discussed after the game was our last hitter in the lineup had an 11 pitch at bat right before that homer. He ended up striking out, but he fouled off six pitches he, he laid off a couple good sliders down in the dirt, and he really made that pitcher work, right? That, that leadoff batter might have gotten pitched differently if he would have went down 1-2-3, but he went down 0-2. He battled and battled. He fouled balls off. He took some tough pitches, really made the pitcher work, and then that next hitter got a good, pitcher to, good pitch to drive, and he ended up hitting a homer. Um, so, again, I think some of, some of those things get overlooked, and it also uh, it, it pumps those players up with confidence when you make a note of it after the game, like, you know, Devin, you did a great job diving for that ball. You know, you saved a run right there. Or Frankie, you know, you got to an 0-2 count. You battled. Somehow you put the ball in play after 10 pitches, ended up scoring a run from second base. So those little things that sometimes get overlooked by the big things, they all matter. And they all they all mean just as much going into the game. So, again, the we over me mentality and, uh, you know, just trying to teach the players that we are a team. And, and unless every single person contrib contributes to help us win, we're not going to win a ball game with two or three of our top players every single day. Everybody's going to have to do something to help us win.